Hey Trailblazers, I want to do a quick video about the new live stream incentive plan for Honkai Star Rail. Hoyverse is rewarding players for streaming the game on Twitch, and you actually can get a lot of rewards. If I scroll down here, you can see that you get daily rewards that give you Lycone XP, Character XP, and Credits. And if you stream for 21 days, you can get up to 4,000 Jades. And if your stream happens to get traction and you get a lot of views, you can get even more Jades. I think this gives you up to 3,000 Jades. So in total, you can get up to 7,000 Jades streaming. This is a lot of rewards, and you should definitely take advantage of it. They even have a leaderboard, but honestly, it's really hard to make the leaderboard unless you already have a big fan base. So what is Hollywood trying to accomplish with this program? On the surface, it seems like they're trying to grow the game by creating new streamers. Another reason for this is that it will improve Honkai Star Rail's social media metrics which will help Hoyoverse with securing new business partnerships and internal performance goals. Let's take a look at the initial results. So I'm looking at the website stream charts. You can see that with the new streamer incentive program, there's more streamers than ever before. There's more streamers now than there was even at game launch. So you can see that the incentive program is working. Even average viewership numbers got a bump with this new incentive program. We're at the highest levels of viewership since the first month of launch. So if Hollyverse is going for improved metrics on social media, they've definitely accomplished the goal. But what about creating new content creators? This is where the plan kind of goes wrong. Basically, we have a new AFK stream meta. So what we're looking at right now is the front page of the Honkai Star Rail category. And what you get on the front page is a lot of AFK streams. So let's do a count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight. Eight out of the first 12 streams in the Honkai Star Rail categories are AFK streams. And honestly, this is a really bad look. I'm fine with players taking advantage of the reward program, but the optics are really bad when most of the streams in your game are AFK. Instead of growing the game, this actually pushes potential new players away. If somebody stumbles upon this category on Twitch, they'll think that this game is a joke. Maybe I'm making this to be a bigger deal than what it actually is, but I don't like AFK streamers crowding out other creators who could be potentially making good content. So what do I recommend you guys do? I would just say, go start streaming. The rewards are huge. All you need to do is stream one hour a day for 21 days. You can AFK in the background and you get a lot of rewards, right? You can get 4,000 Jades pretty easily. There's even one guy who's streaming from his phone, just looking at the Twitch app and that counts. That gets you the rewards. So take advantage of this program while you still can. I think there's a non-zero chance that they make the requirements for this more strict, but while it's here, take advantage of it and beef up your account. This was meant to be a quick video. Thanks for watching.